sure if this is recording. I'm sorry you have to be along with me in my ridiculously loud van. <clears throat> and with the air conditioner going because it's 90 something degrees out. But uh, I had weigh in today. Normally I weigh in on uh, Monday nights, but because of the holiday they were closed. So I gained 0.8. I am done. I'm not done. I, I can't. I can't stop. Because if I stop, what's going to happen? I'll. God knows what I'm going to weigh. I just don't know what I did wrong. Um, it's not my normal leader. The woman that was there. Um, she looked over my food journal and she said, "I don't know." She said, maybe you're not eating enough protein. She said she's diabetic and she knows that you have to eat uh, to build protein, to build muscle mass and all. So she said, maybe I'm eating too many carbs. I don't really eat a lot of carbs. I mean, the corn thins are carbs. But I think compared to a lot of people, I, I don't know. I don't think I eat a lot of carbs. So I don't know. It's very frustrating. There's a woman there who joined Weight Watchers three years ago and actually weighs more now than she did when she joined. And she has no explanation for why she weighs more. She keeps fluctuating. She'll lose 30 pounds and then gain it back and then lose and then gain it back. I don't know. So I need a break. I'm taking today. I'm not going to count points. I don't care. I'm not going to sit down and eat, like, you know, a whole container of ice cream and a cheesecake and a Big Mac. Well, I mean, that might help because I would get extremely sick and might help me lose weight. But anyway, um, I'm, I'm not. I'm taking, uh, not taking, I'm picking her up. A friend, we're going out for lunch. I'm getting wings, grilled wings. And I'm going to slather them in blue cheese or ranch dressing. And I'm going to get a load of baked potato, and I'm going to eat, and then tomorrow I'm starting right back at it, because I can't give up, I can't give up on myself, and my family, that's what I, I don't want to die, because I'm so unhealthy, you know, maybe my body's just happy at 180, between 180 and 190 point pounds, I'm not happy, but, you know, I, I mean, you guys see what I eat. I'm so on plan, it's ridiculous. And I don't, I don't know why I keep gaining and losing the same 10 pounds. I don't know. I eat lean protein. I eat vegetables. I eat fruits. I eat whole grains. I don't eat grains often. I eat oatmeal for breakfast. But other than that, I mean, I don't eat grains that often because, I don't know, I just, it doesn't seem fair. Hey guys, um, real quick, I just wanted to make a video about on the patio so you get to hear all the lovely sounds and the dogs are out here with me so I may have to stop and eat a Shih Tzu real quick. I tell them every day they're lucky they're cute and that I don't believe in beating dogs because if there were two dogs that needed beat, it's probably these two. Um, I record videos on my phone and my mom called when I was doing the last video so I don't know where it stopped. So I'm not going to give up. I can't. I can't give up. If I give up, who knows where I would be, you know? I just don't know if Weight Watchers is for me. I fully believe in the program. I am the, their biggest fan, but it's just 10 months, 10 freaking months of gaining and losing the same 10 pounds, and I'm over it. I can't do it anymore. I don't know. I, you know, they gave me a, a booklet on plateaus. I'm not in a plateau. You know, 
been to the doctor, I've had everything checked, I've had my hormones, my thyroid, my liver, my pancreas, my this, that, and everything else checked. I've had a liver ultrasound, I've had all of these things. I stay with it. You guys see what I eat. I, I've i never gone over my, I go, go over my daily points, but I use my weeklies. I've never used more than my weeklies. I just don't know what to do. I think in the last video I mentioned the woman who has been doing, uh, she joined Weight Watchers three years ago and weighs more than she did when she joined. She lost two pounds this week. She said it's the biggest loss she's ever had. And I said, well, what are you doing differently? And she said, well, her husband's doing this thing called the Ducan diet. And that is, it's a four-stage diet. The first, you eat all lean protein, um, non-fat dairy, things like that. Like, you can have, like, cottage cheese, I think low-fat or no-fat yogurt, um, eggs, different things. Um, he's been doing this diet for two weeks, and he's lost, like, 52 pounds or some, something insane like that. And... I can't do low carb. I did low carb before. It made my hair fall out. I had huge, like, you know, I have like this. This is all hair regrowth because I had I had bald spots going here. I had them back here. I had a huge one, like this big. Luckily, I have really thick hair, and they it covered them up. I had to go to a dermatologist and get steroid shots injected into my head. It's just not, I can't, I, I, get, I don't know. Uh, that's what the dermatologist came to the conclusion that it was the low carb. He said it happens to some people. Um, you know, but I was going over my blog the other day looking for something, and I saw a post where I was talking about how I was low carbing. I lost like 17 and a half pounds in two weeks. So I kind of, you know, I'm thinking maybe I should do something like that for a week or two just to sort of kickstart my loss again. But I, the problem with low carb, I know a lot of people who have low carb and they've all lost weight, they've all been successful. But the problem is, unless you're willing to eat like that for the rest of your life, you're going to gain the weight back. I can't eat like that for the rest of my life. I like fruit. I like, you know, pasta and bread and rice and all these things. And I know it's possible to eat them on a low-carb diet, but I like them, I guess, more than a low-carb diet would allow. I don't know. But I just... You know, I think maybe I should do that for a couple weeks and sort of lose five or ten pounds and and then go back to Weight Watchers, sort of jumpstart, you know, my loss. But then I think, okay, once I start eating carbs again, you know, just like when I low-carb before, once I started eating carbs again. And I, I ate carbs in moderation when I started, but I put the weight all back on. So... I don't know. I don't know what to do. I can keep going back to the doctor and keep having blood drawn and tests done and, you know, spend all this money. I mean, my liver ultrasound is like 300 bucks after my insurance paid for it. Um, you know, all this blood work and stuff. But I don't know if they're going to find an answer. <sighs> I'm just so frustrated. I decided today... Well, I mean, first of all, after I got my weight, um, they handed me a plateau book, booklet. I went and I sat in the other little room, you know, where you wait for the meeting to start. And I started crying, like tearing up. And I texted, you know, Marty wants me to text him every time and let him know how I do. And he was in a meeting. And he's the guy conducting the meeting, so it's not like he could, you know, sneak to see what the text said. So I didn't hear from a while, and that, and that just made me more upset, and so I decided that I was not going to count today. I didn't count points, I ate whatever I wanted, and I didn't care. It was nothing.
not a good day. I ate four Reese's Cups. I had s'mores. I had... Um, I went with a friend out to dinner or lunch and I had grilled wings and lots of ranch dressing flying and you know I mean all in all what I ate if spread out I guess over the week wouldn't be bad but it was all in one day we're having pizza for dinner and I just decided I'm just going to take today not give a shit and then start back tomorrow because what else can I do? I can't give up. I can't. I wanted to. God knows I wanted to. But I can't. So, I don't know. I mean, you guys see what I eat. Am I doing something wrong? And I, I'm just oblivious? I don't know. You know, I heard all of the myths today. Marty especially because he's just trying to search for an answer he's trying to to fix it you know he's the one that fixes it and first he said well you don't count your APs I think you're exercising too much and not eating you know not counting your APs and eating and then about three minutes into the conversation he said well I don't think you're exercising enough you know, you go and you walk, but you still can talk, and, you know, you're not winded or whatever. So maybe you're not exercising hard enough or enough. So, which is it? Am I exercising so much that I need to to eat my APs, or am I not exercising enough that I need, you know, that I need to bump it up a little bit? And then even my 19-year-old, Christian, he, he even, you know, he said, I think that maybe because I eat the same thing for breakfast, and generally similar things for lunch and then dinner is you know usually based on three or four different lean proteins and then a, um, some vegetables or you know a pasta or whatever he said he thinks that maybe my body is just too used to it and has adapted to, to be happy on the number of calories because it's generally around this I would guess around the same number of calories every day and that maybe that's just what my body is is adjusted to be happy with and I don't know my mom went to weigh in today and lost 2.6 pounds and I'm so happy for her because she's not you know she had gastric bypass surgery and the last couple of weigh-ins have not been good for her and so I'm so glad that she lost but at the same time, I'm like, everybody can lose but me. So, I don't know. If you have any suggestions, let me know, because I'm at my wit's end. I just don't know what to do. I don't know. I, you know, I feel like if I'm not going to lose, or I'm going to lose, like, 0 0.2 every week, which, I'll be honest, I would be so happy with losing 0.2. But, you know, if I'm not going to lose, or if I'm going to gain, then I'm just going to eat what I want to eat. I'm just, I'm not going to, to hold back. And I'm going to eat, you know, the, the fattier cuts of meat, and chips, and ice cream, and all the time, and caramel corn, and, you know, candy, and all this stuff. I can't do that, though, because I feel like crap. I feel like crap now. You know? So, I... But that's, you know, I guess the, um... Hello. What are you doing? I'm good. Anyway, so, if you have any suggestions, let me know. It's time to go make pizza. Bye.